Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and we had a visitor at the back door <laughs> of the inn. I just logged in, and that is what I was looking at. And uh, I decided to just stay here safely uh, while this guy walks around, and I can hear him walking on pressure plates outside. Uh, but welcome back. We are on the Citadel server, of course, playing Minecraft, and uh, picking up where we left off with the lilac farm. Oh, he's coming out this way now. Oh, all right. I'll leave you be. Uh, we were working on some of the block choices yesterday. And I installed a data pack to craft rooted dirt, but it does not seem to work. I don't know what it is about data packs and the format of them. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't for me. And it's just it's a little bit problematic. But uh, reason for that, it's because I wanted to do some rooted dirt decoration around here, but we're going to have to, I think, wait for that. Um, we are going to be using the uh, packed mud, though, and the mushroom block for the paths around the lilacs, and then we're going to be using coarse dirt up here. So we've got some work to do already, and then we also have some uh, pitcher plants to hopefully plant later on as well. So that's the plan. Uh, oh, and we're going to replace the walls with um, the cobblestone walls with the deep slate walls. So hopefully this is going to look a lot different by the time we're, you know, done the stream today. So we'll get there. We'll get there. I do want to try one thing. I haven't tried it in a crafting bench. I created it in a crafting bench, but I clicked the box to say it's supposed to be a two by two grid. But what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to take two dirt and two rooted dirt, and it's supposed to make or sorry, two hanging roots, and it's supposed to make rooted dirt. Uh, did not happen. And I don't know if it'll work here. I can't remember if it was specific, but no. Not working. So I don't know what I did wrong, but it's not happening. Anyway, uh, we can, I think, focus on mud first although i guess i already had my inventory set up for working on these little planters this is what the other thing that we were working on yesterday just at the tail end of things and i think i like i think i like the ends signs i just can't decide if i like them to be all Jungle or all spruce? So let's try one of each. Do I have jungle signs? I need more. I could also use stairs there. I think I was trying to think about other things that I could put there too. Try some stairs. I can't think of anything else that would go there that would make sense. Fence, fence gates, none of that really matters. Need more signs. And more sticks. Mini packs and Grace, good to see you. Cosmic and Peanut is back. Welcome back. Hmm. It might be worth doing a combination. I 
I think maybe we keep the jungle wood there, but then we make these spruce. I'll check to see what dark oak looks like. It's probably going to be too dark. You suggested at the end of the stream yesterday that you could put some waterlogged stairs at the end to hydrate the water. Yeah, or to hydrate the soil. Yeah, I could do that too, couldn't I? I don't know if there's a way to do that with the stairs though. They won't they won't connect the right way. Cosmic Dancer has appeared. Oh. Stuff. Cool. Two stacks or more? Hold on. I need more room. I guess I can put some of this away. Yay. Two stacks in a bit. Thanks. Oops, that's not thanks at all. Why is my inventory always full? That's the question I ask myself repeatedly. Question I ask myself all the time. And off they go. It just, it feels like it stands out so much. I don't know whether I like that or not. <clears throat> Maybe I need to just embrace the jungle trapdoor the whole way. My keyboard is in a funny position. Uh, is that enough? I think it should be. Oh yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we should be good. Do I have a hoe on me? I do. Is this regular dirt? That's coarse dirt. All right, so we can do this right now while we think about it. think that's all of it there might be some rearranging and some additions or something but should be good more than enough more than enough we might have to shift some of this around so that that will take some work but yeah i think we're, i think we're good mind trip media with the 100 bits thanks very much for the support my friend Hope you're having a fantastic day. That still gives us some stuff left over. So that's good. All right. Trapdoors. I don't know if I needed that many. I guess I had some in my inventory that I just didn't see. EMP subscribing with Prime. 12 months, that's a full year for EMP. Can we get some shout outs in chat for EMP? Thanks for the wonderful support. That's the space keystone badge that you've unlocked. Now one of several people that can brag about supporting the channel for a full year. I really appreciate it. You know, I think I like that design the best. I think it was the, the jungle signs that are just too, too bright. 
Or maybe not. They're certainly too bright when they're up against spruce wood. Oh, I wanted to check dark oak signs, didn't I? Now, I don't know how we would do waterlogged stairs. We could do this, I guess. But then we'd have to add an extra an extra bit on the end like that. Which doesn't look terrible. It actually looks like it has more of a function, which is cool. We did that on this one. Try the different stairs. But that's only going to go four blocks, so we'd have to have it on both ends, which would make these quite large. Well, we'll try it. I don't think I'm going to like the dark soil, though. I think I prefer the lighter soil. The other thing we could try would be um, replacing some of the signs with spruce trapdoors. That might work. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to make a little temporary watering hole here just so we don't have to walk all over the place for extra water. Got the both. That's the unsaturated soil, unsaturated farmland, and then that's the saturated farmland. I don't think I like the dark oak. That's not bad. I 
I don't mind the little pop of blue up here, though. It is kind of cool. It slopes the wrong way. But it is neat. It's just going to be inconsistent because it's not going to reach all four. Or I should say all six. What do we think? Do we have any preference chat as to which design we like? I don't mind this. I just wish that it would be uh, full all the way. So how is this being saturated then? Doesn't make any sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this whole thing is saturated now. It's going to be larger than four blocks. You like the blue of the water as well? Yeah. No, it does look pretty good. I like that it adds something to the end. I feel like one of the things I like about this is... This just feels like a cap where this feels like a little bit more constructed, you know, something with a little bit more purpose. <clears throat> oh, maybe it's eight blocks. Maybe I, I get my diameter and my radius mixed up in the facts. Because if that's the case, we could make one of them unique with this, this kind of thing on the end. And then the other one we could just kind of leave on its own. Do we prefer the jungle cap? I don't know what else we could put in there. I guess dark oak would be a little bit too saturated. It could be fun instead of stairs if we if we decide to do um, trapdoors here, we could replace these with slabs. Have a larger basin. This looks cooler though, I think. Just to make it look a little bit different, maybe. Hmm. I think it's just fine like that. Now, by adding an extra to the bit uh, to the end of this, I am also um, taking up a little bit of the space, which is good. So 
So these ones aren't getting saturated for some reason. Whereas these ones are. Maybe it's just a time thing. Yep, I think I like that first one. I think this this design is probably the best one. So we'll go with that. Oh, nope, got it wrong. I think that's right. I don't know why these are not getting saturated. That's really weird. I mean, ultimately, I'm not going to be up here that much. So, not the end of the world. McScrewgun subscribing at Tier 1. Thanks ever so much. 36 months. Three years, McScrewgun. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Do, 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 do. Oh, water. Mixrugan says, thank you so much for the three great years of wonderful community. Well, you're welcome. I think that has a lot to do with the people that are in the community. So why is... I didn't have any water in here, and these were all saturated to the very end, and yet this one is not, and I don't understand. Well, I think that makes sense for the pathing. And I wanted to do something else over here. This was supposed to be like a little patch of something. This site might be worth moving the wall to give this just a little bit more room. Maybe we'll tighten that up.
Lightning Cattail, hello, welcome in. That feels just a little bit better. But what could we put here that could be fun? I don't want to put more beats. Maybe we could put... Sunflowers might be too yellow. What do we have? We could try... Allium. We could try something custom. Try the peony. What about crops? Hmm. I had originally thought that flowers would be good. Just realized that I'm very low on food. Uh, there we go. And I have potatoes here somewhere. So this could be coarse dirt, this could be farmland. Unfortunately, when it's not crops, they're kind of all over the place. Well, the green on the peony is just not nice, so that's a no for that. I think we go with the allium. doesn't really work does it it's the kind of thing we'd want like a little some sort of little garden fence but we don't have those in minecraft we can't do farmland because the, it'll turn back to grass so maybe this is a good spot for rooted dirt i think that's the only other thing you can plant flowers on right moss Oh, coral was something we were thinking about doing too. That's right, Crosshatch. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, They do stay in the middle. They do stay in the middle. I apologize. I'm not sure what's going on today. My voice is absolutely shot. I think it's just the seasonal allergies or something, but it's, it's a rough go. Brain coral could work. I don't... I feel like I have a way to craft that. 
Where's the blocks I can craft? The problem usually is that coral is just so bright out in the open on its own, you kind of want to layer it with stuff. So I don't know about that, but we'll see. I've got some slabs. I need more though. Root of dirt. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. We will put that right in there. And they're gone again. <laughs> it it pays to have lovely server mates that are willing to help you out when you're running low on stuff. Thank you, Cosmic. Um... Let's try this. Very bright. Very, very bright. Definitely not the red. The pink is not bad. So I wonder if that's the case. If we did something like this. Oh, that's a slap. Hold on. If we layer it like that, maybe. Cass, craft dragon, hello, hello. So unfortunately, I feel like this just looked like beats. So when you're standing here, it feels like it's just more the same, so. It's a cool idea, but maybe we'll just put it somewhere else in the property that's just not here. Wow, Cosmic, you gave me like three stacks of root of dirt. So our other options would be like a grass type block, moss maybe. Maybe we can use some pink petals. I guess I don't need trapdoors anymore. Put all this stuff away. Mm. 
Yeah, <laughs> you risk life and limb for that, Rudy Dirt. Well, thank you. Um. Doesn't really stand out enough, does it? Doesn't feel as organized. Maybe the problem here is not that it's um it's the wrong flower. Maybe I just need to be a little bit more intentional with it. No, oh, it's too far apart. Never mind. So if we did them where there's double flowers like that. Because of the data pack. And then... Kind of filled it out like that maybe? I think that kind of works. Happy, hello, hello, welcome in. I think that feels a little bit more intentional. And then we can come up in here with some of the carpet maybe. Sort of looks more like a flower bed. I could probably remove this and replace it and then do that again. I think that works.
playing around with these um, pink petals. Man, my brain just goes to all the different things that we could do if we had more more plants or blocks in Minecraft that behaved this way. Like, I love how you can bleed it over the edge of blocks. It's very, very cool. So I'm not crazy about this. And I'm thinking this would be probably a little bit more cut off. So this feels really straight, so I'd like to maybe curve it out more somewhere. I like that you can sort of kind of trickle them off too. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I'll worry about doing other textures and stuff later. Fazu Battlecaster, good to see you. Someone put up a picture making circles with the petals and it just screamed fairy rings to me. Oh yeah. Now that is my t private um, teleport system around Infinity Cove. That's really cool. Yeah, you can do some really neat stuff. Just imagine though if you had like other colors or other textures, like forget flowers. Like what if it was uh, like the texture that you could put on the side of something, you know? Um, what did I think of recently that was like that? I can't remember. It was some sort of wall decor idea that I had. I don't think this would come out farther. Actually, that does look better, doesn't it? Sure. Okay. So I like that. Uh, and then rather than seeing the back of all these little carpets, what we'll do is we'll probably have some slabs and stuff on the wall. How are our pitcher plants doing? Oh, we're almost there. We should be able to finish the job here. Was it chalk? Oh, I think you're right, Crosshatch. Was that on the spawn chunks or was that on the stream? I feel like it was chalk. You're right. Oh, you know what it was? It was somebody wrote in 
to the sponge chunks and they were talking about adding chalk as like a block in the game and then you could craft your own chalk and do all the different colors and stuff that's that's probably what it was Potatoes are done. <laughs> cosmic said that the ring of flowers sounds like a cosmic summoning circle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I could see that. On a serious note, you're surprised I haven't added shock to this Stony Shores biome. I think that actually might have been where the email suggested that they go. Because the email, I think, wanted like the like the white cliffs of Dover, like that kind of a vibe, right? It's hard. It's getting harder and harder to remember like where I've talked about different things in Minecraft because, man... The amount of emails now, the amount of episodes. We're coming up on episode 300 of the Spun Chunks in June. And then we've been getting email for almost that long. We read between two and four emails. Usually two. I would say the average is probably two. I think that's everybody. Looks like there's actually more pitcher plants than there is lilacs, which was not the intention. I feel like it might be cool to, to have that be lilacs as well, or have that kind of borderline change things. It might be good to have lilacs kind of surround these, so maybe we'll change some of these to lilacs. I don't know. All right, well, let's bounce around a little bit, and we'll go down and we'll put all the packed mud in. I thought I had more packed mud than this. Just one to one, right? Yeah. We'll see how far we get. There might be a resource gathering trip in the future. I think I've got more wheat in the barn over here though. Just the one. Yeah, just the one, I guess. I'll check the inside of the storage room. That might also be a spot. Pitcher Plant Farmstead does not have the same ring to it. No, and I, I didn't realize that they were going to be so prevalent. You still get a lot of pink from here, though. Like, it's still predominantly pink from the ground. I think that's maybe the misleading part, is that it it looks pink from the ground, but then once you get up here, it switches to more of the turquoise and the blue and the purple. But then we're back to pink again. It might balance out if I add a lot more of these, maybe down through here. Yeah, it's definitely some logistics to work out with this pathing. Thing. 
It's so much nicer to walk on than dirt. It's so much more quiet. Ah, oh, I did it. Thankfully, we don't have to wait for that to grow back. We can just put it back down. Slow but satisfying part of the process. That's the bottom tier, so now we just have one more to go. We could try to see what the packed mud bricks would look like for slabs, but I don't know. It would be the right color, I just don't know if, if the texture would make sense. Is all she wrote on the mud. I can get a few back by working in some of this mushroom. It's done. Did I get both of those back? Break time when you raise this cosmic. Thank you very much. So I think this bottom tier is done. Yeah, I did that yesterday. Didn't bring any slabs. So I'll wait to do that. It's so quiet to walk on top of this. I love it. I wish there was more ways to control that kind of stuff in Minecraft. So that only gives me another half, you know, another two dozen. Not quite enough. 
It's fine. We've got lots more supply. I just have to go get it. Fun trip. All good. So not, not bad. We got most of the way there. Oh, that looks so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I want to add in rooted dirt in here too, because I think it blends too much with the coarse dirt. Yeah. Just leave it like that. All right, let's take that break stick to those today folks if you're new i take a break once an hour on the channel it just gives me a chance to reheat my coffee maybe grab another glass of water you should too grab a snack grab a friend let them know that we're streaming and we'll be back in about five or six minutes
Once again, there are mobs just outside. I feel like it might be safer to AFK in, in the town. They don't seem to spawn out here that much. And I'm on fire. Oh, the joys of survival Minecraft. And all you want to do is build in peace. Oh, if I have another lead, maybe I'll grab that pig. I thought I had one somewhere. Valder subscribing at tier one for 10 months. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a good Friday. Pretty chill here. Just taking care of some turf replacement. Taking the block decisions that we made yesterday and pushing them on to completion. I need to see if I have wheat kicking around in here somewhere. There's a lead for the pig. Looks like no. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to need more wheat. I'm going to need more golden carrots. So we might as well take a trip to the meadows. It's always a fun, chill way to spend a little bit of Friday. I'll have to look and see what else I might need too. I know I'm getting a little bit low on um, moss. Oh, we got really low on moss. Okay, so refill on the moss. I need to bring, I'll grab another shulker for the wheat. And Cosmic was kind enough to drop off the root of dirt. So we've got lots of that now. I'm good for gravel, tough. I'll just put away some stuff. Low on brown mushroom block too, but I think I just basically have to harvest that. I don't think there's a way around, around that. So we need carrots. And wheat. And moss. It's always fun making a little shopping list. And put that back. Oh, where'd that pig go? I guess I should get a name tag too. Crap. Didn't think about that. Do, do mobs despawn if you've got them on a lead despite the fact that they're not named? Where did it go? There he is. I don't think this guy has a name. No, he's good. Okay. We're good there. The moss. Cosmic helped out on the root of dirt problem. I 
feel like I've got andesite inside, but we'll double check anyway. Good for bones. Oh. Pink coral. I might have some back at my barn. Red coral. And... Oh, I need to repair some gear. Take that. That should be it, I think. Good enough. Road trip. You get used to how much the golden carrots saturate your hunger and you don't have to worry about stuff. It's, uh, it's nice not to have to worry about food. Well, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I like it too. I really like now that we've changed the the ground color on a lot of it. Wow, my frame rate is going to crap. What is going on? 46 on call shenanigans. Can't quite see it from back here. Probably have to be up on the bridge. Yeah. The, um, the pitcher plants are very straight up and down. It feels very organized. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot of screen stuttering today. Don't know why. I'm tempted to see if ground concrete powder could work, but it feels like it's going to be a lot darker than the mud and the, uh, the packed mud and the, um, the mushroom block, but I can't think of anything else that's in that range. Outside of more like mud bricks and things like that. So first stop, we go all the way back to the meadows, I think. I guess we can stop at the uh, moss farm on the way. Maybe your PC has allergies too. Look, you know what? The way that this PC behaves sometimes, I would not be surprised. Mossy things. And... We'll top up on the carpet. Got saplings and that's just concrete powder. That's good. One thing off the list.
Uh, let's put this over here. Wheat. Where do I keep that? Mootwing Diva, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. That gas sounds very close by. First things we do is sleep. I forgot how overgrown this area feels. Might be soon time to run the annual moss farm for two for five minutes. Actually, um, that bottom uh, chest is usually the last one to get filled, so there's probably a lot more I didn't check. Where do I keep my coral? There, where I have absolutely none. <laughs> okay, uh, I have more ink here. Holy crap! Uh, no carrots. I've got some wheat. It's not a lot though. Imagine the wheat farm is probably where I'm going to find most of what I need. It is really cool in this area. It's always fun to go back to the first area it's built on a server. Nice to zoom around with the speed beacon as well. Not quiet though. <laughs> Hello. I think that should be enough. Actually, this doesn't matter. This should just be stacked like that. I didn't bring an extra shulker, so we'll just have to deal with that for the extra inventory. That's fine. Didn't bring anything there. Oh, I've got some room in there for carrots and stuff. Okay. That should be good. Carrots, I don't think have been running either, so we're going to be taking from the main stock. No. Three from that chest, and... from that chest. Cool. And then we can put this in here. What else do we want? Uh, andesite. We might have some here. I feel like I've got some back at the um, the build. I feel like I forgot to check my storage room before we came all the way down here. Generally, though, andesite is not something there's a lot of here, but there's enough. I won't leave nothing here, but I'll take the stack. So this is a block silo that we have for uh, players in the area where they can just dump the extra stuff that they don't need, don't want to store. All right, what else? Uh, coral, that's a little bit far away. Beets, do I have? I don't think we ever, I don't think we have a beet farm. So we'll just go and check my barn, I guess. Moss farm management is serious business. It's one of those things that I, I wish it was something that I could run more often. I do have plans to make my own little moss farm with this in the sci-fi area because I want to use it to make bone meal. Did 
don't remember looking to see if there was any beetroot over here. Certainly have enough. Leave myself a little bit, but I'll take the rest. So it's just popping by the um, coral reef, I guess. I'll probably fly just because it'll be faster. I gotta remember where it is. I think it's to the left here. This has been decorated since the last time I was here. Wow. Coral Reef. I was right. Oh, cool. I knew this was happening. I don't think I've ever been here. That's. I like the um, glazed terracotta. It actually works really well with the sandstone. With the, the haze from the nether, like it kind of gives it a yellowy vibe. It's cool. J. Chris, I think that's Cosmic's doing. Oh, there's like a little home base out here too. So this is like a thousand blocks of coral reef. Like it's just massive. We can basically just go everywhere. I tend to go to like the far side and harvest if I need to. Maybe we'll just drop in right about here. So I needed the pink. This one. I don't need a lot, a lot. Don't remember if I need that one. I just want to have about, you know, a dozen or so of each. Just enough for decorative gardens. Did I get that? No. Seeing a lot of the red. Oh, there's a pink one. It's been a long time since I've been out here. Figured if you we were coming this far. That's four and five. Keep on seeing all the fans. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. Nice. Might as well get some stuff from the other colors too while we're here. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. That went up a lot faster than I thought. I wonder if I could mix in the um, the pink and the uh, beetroot that I have together in one garden. I wonder if that could look good. There's 12 of that one and a little bit more red.
Sorry, the camera's all over the place. I don't know what to do about it. It's Minecraft just being Minecrafty. Now, can I walk away from something looking me right in the face and saying, take me home? I don't remember any of the blocks that I was short on, but should be okay. Ten of those. Kind of at the edge of it here, looks like. I say that's close enough. Now, I don't know if I've touched the ground. I might still be able to fly. Nope. Not the prettiest day to be at the the coral reef. When it's sunny, it's really pretty out here. Well, the beetroots are pink, Cosmic. I'm glad we got this portal sorted and turned around. When they switched the way the portals worked, it uh, it stopped being facing the right direction. So I know that's going this way. What uh, what's that way? Shulker boxes, Nether Hotel, Woodland Mansions, Maccasts, Far Out Outposts, and Piglin Bastion. Oh, okay. Cool. I had forgot that these were decorated. Well, that's fun. I think I helped Cosmic with this one. It's actually not that far. I thought it was a lot farther. Alright, what else? Oh, I should check the farm for coal. Oh well. Now I just need to repair stuff, right? Yeah. So this should be quick because it's only a shovel and a set of shears. Lighter is fine. This whole place could get a, a facelift now that we've got all kinds of different wood and trapdoors and different colors in the game now. It could really be uh, a lot cooler looking. It's a problem for future Joel. Alright, what do we need? We need shears and shovel. That's enough of that. Got to tell Microsoft that beetroot dye should be a mix of red and pink. I think the only way to get pink dye is from Peony, right? Like that's how you get pink dye in the game. Zero T triple six. Hello. How's it going? Good to see you as always. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. Those are fixed.
Everything else is pretty good. And we are good to go. I'll just leave the gold for whoever's next. I'm not too worried about it. I wonder if I have any coal over at my uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. We'll check that quickly. Oh wow, that didn't load in at all. <laughs> Anything in here? Probably blaze rods was the fuel. Uh, no coal. How am I doing for coal anyway? Oh yeah, I definitely need a few. Let's just see what might be down here. This unfortunately doesn't work anymore. The flying machine's broke and I haven't figured out how to fix them yet. I I have coal or cosmic. I just I wanted coal for like smelting things, like when I need to smelt the odd block. Uh coal. Nope. <laughs> Not a great deal of coal happening. That's fine. I've got it in other places. I think I have excess. I just I have an entire shulker box of coal ore, and it, it's just it's one of those weird things. Digital pack rat. It's just kind of nice to have, and I don't want to bite into it. I'm not sure what I would ever use it for, but The nice thing about having an extra sized render distance on the server now is that you can see a lot farther in the nether so you know where you're going when you're flying places. I need to get rid of this tunnel too. So it really have been all over the place. It's like a mini tour. That'll do. Good enough for me. Oh yeah, I know about the coal ore. I know about the coal ore. Don't think there was anything else. We got all the things on the list. I'll check briefly here for andesite just in case. Just stuff holding place in the chest. Not enough to bother with really. Oh, I'll take some of that, though. And I think I've got brown mushrooms, but I'll bring some just in case. And more coal ore. <laughs> Surprise. Good to know I've got lots of quartz. Lots of quartz. Holy crap. We're good. Andesite, I think, is cobblestone and quartz.
I don't think it's... I don't think it's diorite. I think it's quartz. Oh, do I have time to sleep to get rid of the rain? Maybe. Fast. Carpet dupers? We don't dupe on the, on the server, so no. I'm curious now that we've got the farm all planted, if uh, we're going to be able to see it from the top of the ridge. No, and I don't see the point of using something like a carpet duplication bug to fuel furnaces when you can just use um, bamboo farms, right? Perfectly normal vanilla game mechanic produces endless amounts of bamboo. All you have to do is make one big enough for your needs and you're, you're good. It is cobblestone and diorite for quartz? Okay. Quartz is for making diorite. I knew there was one of them that requ required quartz and it was just silly as to why you'd ever waste quartz on something. So you can see it from up here, which is cool. When we finally finish this path, we might, I might move a couple of trees just to have a better view. It would be nice too if we change the direction Come down here if we maybe curved a little bit so that you came down at this angle. Just a little bit. Well, you can absolutely see it from up here. It does feel very rigid, the, um, the pitcher plants. I might have to stick a few things in there like some bushes or something Okay, so we can put this down. There's my coral. And site. This one's got a carrot on it, and I feel like a a different block would be better. Oh, I do. I've got lots of mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. All right, let's go solve the immediate problem, which is hunger and rockets. I guess I can turn these off now that we're home. Maybe I'll make one more stack. And then the carrots. 
I guess we're going to have to... Put that there. One of these could go in here, though. Yep. Let's do this. That's better. Oops. This is the kind of thing that I would absolutely love to use the crafter for. Because this kind of stuff, even though you don't have to do it that often, it is tedious. I say that and it really doesn't take that long. Cool, so now it's just the mud bricks. Elkhorn is saying that you always thought the carpet duping was weird because they're like sheep and wool farms or a thing too. Yeah, like if you need carpet for actual carpet's sake, like a simple observer in one sheep and just leave it somewhere where it's going to be loaded all the time and you have got more wool than you know what to do with. And I don't use wool that often. I'm not sure what you would need tons and tons of wool for. I mean, maybe technical projects, but I'm really not sure. Do I need more cracked deep slate? That is the one thing that I wanted to know. The answer is yes, indeed, I do. I love that one coal block smelts an entire stack. I think it actually does more than just a stack, right? Because it would be technically it would be the same as nine bits of coal. I guess I probably could have conserved a bit there, but whatever. Don't think we'll need more than that. Should be enough. Bring those just in case they look good. And then the other thing I wanted to do was lay down a bunch of deep slate and tough. Coal block does 80, so slightly more efficient than nine coal. Aha, I did not know that. Very cool. So this is what I wanted to test. I think all the same is a little bit strange, but we might be able to do them like a mix.
I don't know. I'll leave that for now, but I don't think I'm going to like it. Oh, I forgot the mushroom. Whoops. That's right. I'm going to go sleep anyway. Oh, the bed's right here. The fact that you use nine kelp to smelt 20 items, but one to smelt nothing is honestly a strange thing to me. Oh, what do you mean? The fact that you use nine kelp to smelt tw 20 items, but one to smelt nothing, I guess is what you mean? I think that bamboo is an easier way to do your auto um, smelting anyway. What do we need? Mushroom blocks. Don't have many of those either. Maybe I should spend a little bit of time here at the end of the stream harvesting some stuff. It's probably the better bet. So I'll finish the um, finish the mud, and then I think to get ready for tomorrow, I'll take uh, take down some trees and I'll take down some um, some mushrooms. This is all textured, yeah. Oh, right. I think I do like the wood. It makes sense. It's all textured. Oh, looks like here's where I left off. I forgot about this neat little like double path here. Don't know about that. I feel like we may have to make some adjustments here. Oh, maybe we don't need more mushroom. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind. I got ahead of myself. Didn't I just make it stop raining? I keep on threatening to get like a mod or something that will give me more, either more control or just have it rain, rain less on the server. It really does rain a lot in Minecraft now, Jcrest. Ever since the Caves and Cliffs update, whenever they change the way that the beds influence sleeping, it really has changed. All right, so I'll put this back for now. Do 
don't know why this is here. Do, do, do. Now, uh, dirt should be fine. And to make sure that it doesn't affect anything here, I think the easiest thing to do is just going to be to build this up a little bit higher. That's the wrong kind of tree. Less impressive than I thought it was going to be. Let's try that again. Oh no. Well, that still worked. I feel like it's louder now that we're higher. <laughs> right tree, wrong size. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So the reason why I popped it up in the air like that on a dirt platform is because you can see that it turned everything into puzzle. And if you do that and you're too close to the edge of your road, then like some of this could get turned into puzzle and I would just be mad. <laughs> so... We got four. I forget that it makes a new noise now, too. Because it used to make that weird, like, kind of glitchy hit noise. I just noticed how low we were on spruce the last couple times I've been trying to do stuff. So this should take care of that. This is a huge tree, actually. We might only have to do just the two of these. I know that automatic tree farms are a thing, but like we just did that and we've got more than two stacks of logs in like less than five minutes, I want to say. Although we didn't get a lot of leaves. So we've not recouped our saplings yet. I don't know of a way to do like automatic mushroom farms. Oh, that's not the way. I'd imagine it would be the same as anything else. Oh, a dried um, kelp piece doesn't have the same functionality. You can't, can't you not use, like if you have enough of it coming in, does it work? Or is it just that it burns out too fast? Let's try something here. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. I guess it's just because of the roof.
Like, that's pretty fast. I don't know that I would necessarily need an automatic farm. Oh, I forget we get free sticks from the leaves decaying, too. And do one more mushroom. I like what Corellis did this season on Hermitcraft for his bush farm. Really interesting design being moved around in a minecart. Reminded me of, um, I think it was an ice farm that Tango made one time where he was pushed around by a water stream. You need to build one for stem farming. Yeah, you don't get very many stem blocks. That's the thing. I've only got like, what, 16 of those? I'm not even sure where I keep those normally. Are they in here? No. I have them somewhere. I don't actually know. Because I've used them, but I think I've only ever used them to the point where I've used them all. And I'm not sure where I put the brown mushroom blocks. Well, we need to use them anyway to finish up the pattern. I think that's everything now. Yeah, first pass. Pretty good. I don't mind the mix. I think I prefer the spruce, but I'll leave it there and see if it drives me crazy. And at that point, I'll change it. Cool. Uh, that is where I'm going to leave it for today, though. So we are going to uh, pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. This is a, a slower project than, than previously, uh, I thought, but we're making pretty good headway. So we've got a texture of the top part here. Oh, look, look at all the, all the mud I could have ripped up. I didn't realize that I had done that. Right, I forgot about that from yesterday. So yeah, we'll have to revert that back. I still sort of like the path block, but I think the coarse dirt is better. That looks really good though. Pretty happy with that. So we'll be just picking up tomorrow where we left off, working with the new textures and, and new blocks and whatnot. Uh, Cosmic, is Impulse still live? Because if he is, then I'll pass you all along to Impulse. Uh, oh, Tadpole is also live. Um, anybody in chat care to voice an opinion? Do you want to go and raid Impulse or do you want to raid Tadpole Milk? Totally up to you. I'm cool with either one of those generous, wonderful people. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this podzol, but I keep on making, making podzol. <laughs> that is the wrong bin. I really need to dump my extra storage here. It's becoming a little bit too much. Doo -doo. And I don't need those either. All right, all set.
Cool. Well, if you want to check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast, you can find those wherever you find your favorite podcasts, including YouTube. Follow me on YouTube at Joel Duggan VODs. You can check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you want to support the stream and join the Discord. A huge thank you to everyone that supported today, including the tier one subs and the bits here live on stream. I very much appreciate it. If you used a Prime sub or if you used a tier one, then you can join the Discord as well. All the roads lead to Rome, as they say. And I'll be back tomorrow. That's Saturday at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours with more Minecraft right here from the Citadel. I'll see you then, folks. Bye for now.